Hello, this is Sean C and welcome to my Path of Exile video. Um, so this video is aimed very much at people that are brand new to the game and wanting to know what the hell Delve is about. Um, the same with everything in this game. Um, it's got a lot of depth, um, no pun intended. Um, but you can be profitable using it with a very limited understanding of it. Um, so I'll hopefully try and give that information in this video. Um, again, if you're very advanced at the game, there's going to be nothing new for you here. Um, this is aimed at people just trying to understand what they should be doing in Delve. So when you're playing the game, you're going to, uh, the quest, you're going to find Nico. Um, Nico will just, um, it doesn't do a lot uh, compared to some of the other uh, masters that you have in your hideout. Um, but when you see him, you click on him and he'll give you some sulfite. And then you can use this sulfite to, uh, in the mine to move the minecart down and go deeper and deeper into this mine or left and right, whichever way you want to go. Um, this map is completely random um, for each, each uh, account. Um, so if I go log on my Necromancer, which is what I'm maining at the minute, um, but she's not as good at Delve as this character, um, she would have the same screen. Um, and as you get deeper, it gets tougher. The enemies get tougher. The darkness hurts a bit more, um, I think. Um, but the rewards get better. So you want to sort of try and get to a level where um, the rewards are worth the difficulty. So you want to upgrade your mind so when you go down there when you first lock onto this um you have zero percent zero percent and you only be able to hold a small amount of sulfite so the first time you meet nico you'll get 50 sulfite each time you speak to him um once you start meeting him as a red quest mission uh in your atlas you're gonna get something like two and a half thousand a time um even more if you use scarabs um so you want to upgrade your capacity these are important like you start taking damage from the darkness and you this is caps out at 75 percent so you want to try and keep this at 75 and this at 150. So I've just dropped a bit there. So I'm going to spend some of my Azerite to keep that at 150. And that just means you can move further away from the minecart um, but before you start taking damage. Additionally, you want these flares uh, and the dynamite. Um, these will set up light where you uh, don't take damage. Well, it's not that they don't take damage, you can kill the monsters. Um, so I'll try to explain that there is quite a few steps to this. So just try bear with me if you've got any questions please ask them in the, uh, in the comment section um so when you first start delving what you want to do is get these to um 75 and 150 or whichever level you, you're at um when you start the mission delve uh nico is quite handily already drilled a bit of a passage but as you can see it's not very deep um taking forever to get up there so he's already drilled this and you can start delving off on that so if you've got a very weak character you can just go straight over here but if you look at the monster level, that's very low. Um, but it also doesn't cost a lot of sulfite, so you can start having a bit of an explore. But like I say, you want to get down as deep as you can. At the minute, I'm currently just mining as deep as I can because um, this character, by the way, is not optimized at all. If you go look at my build, um, I'm currently maining another character, but he's perfect for this. So I would recommend the Cyclone uh, Leech build um, for this that sort of delving. Um, so yeah, so there's these, these sulfite missions. So you spend, sorry, you spend your sulfite to get the uh, azurite, and then you can use your azurite to um, upgrade these. So again, you want to keep this capped out at seventy five. You want to make sure you've got enough capacity so you don't waste it. So if you if you have this capped out, I accidentally wasted some earlier on about a thousand, um, because I didn't realize I built a lot of this up. Um, so keep keep these uh at, capped out. Flares, you start off with like three and one of these maybe. So I, I've upgraded them. I could do more, but you this tends to be enough for me. Um, and this wants to be at 150 as well. So I'll leave it at that for now. 149 is fine. Um, okay, so once you've uh, got those capped, um, you, you, you just keep keep getting soul point as you need there. Uh, sorry, as you're right, as you need it to keep those capped. But other than that, then you can keep going down. So the main way you're going to get currency well the main way i think that you can get currency as a beginner as well down here is by selling fossils which you find um each one of these little areas uh you see like the color at the background and it'll say fungal caves uh yeah say uh frozen hollow uh you know you can see in the bottom left of my of the map um i can't point it because it moves um, but they'll have different sort of fossils and encounters to each one. I'm, I've not even looked into which is the best place to be at the minute. I think Frozen's quite good. Um, but again, that's a more advanced player is going to be worrying about that. For the time being, it's just long journeys like this are where you can get good currency. Um, there's even longer journeys as well. They do cost more to do. 
Um, but that's where you can do the like delving mechanic. So just going from A to B and getting the rewards that you see here, like some armor or a sword or some uh, uh, gems, they can be good. The currency ones are quite good. I'll do one of those while I'm on the video because I just did one and I got about 10 chaos from it. So as a as a new player, I mean that's great. Um, that'll get you a lot of good stuff. Um, but it's not generally that that we consider the reward. It's more the the delving or like using your dynamites to blow up these caves um, as you go along this reward. There's also bosses uh, and cities. So the cities are quite good. Um, this is what people tend to look for. Um, I'll do one of these as well just so you can see that mechanic. Um, so this is a good profitable way and there's different types of cities again. I'm not going to lie. I don't know exactly which one's best and which is for what. Um, there's just so much depth for this game. I've just I've, I've only done about 500 hours. I'll put that out there. Um, so this I've only got the serve to this, but I think a lot of the videos I see when I want to understand the mechanic uh, assume a bit too much about the level of skill of the player. And um, this is basically if you've never played uh, the Delve before. So as I was saying, there's bosses and that looks like that. Um, uh, I'll go do that boss as well. I, I Hopefully I won't die. Um, I, I think it, it, I've, my character can easily do it, um, but there are, are certain mechanics with the boss fights. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in the mine now. Uh, we're going to path up to this excavation up here. Okay, so this is the light I was talking about. If you don't keep that light radius up, the light that comes from uh, your minecart will extend to like here, maybe. Um, and then as you get out of the light, you start taking darkness. Overwhelming, you are dying. Get that out of the, get to the light. As you can see, that's going to exponentially get faster. Uh, until I need to get back and then I can regen my life. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to start that. Um, so you've got to stay by that. To if I go away from that and try and kill these enemies, immortal. There needs to be light. So if I drop a flare, uh, I can kill those monsters again. Um, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so that's why you want to keep light ready up. And obviously the darkness, if you don't have darkness and stuff, that's going to start chunking away at you like a lot, a lot quicker um if you don't keep that stat um so this is quite a short journey so that you know i've just gone one two three four there's just, that's what you call delving where you're going off the main route and exploring in the darkness um and all right let me just quickly do this i didn't need to actually start this mission um so i the, what I, I mean there's probably loads of different builds and even while i'm playing this video there might be you see achievements sometimes so and so delve to 6000 depth i think it's 6200 i saw a second ago uh, which is a crazy depth we're at 200 here um so you can just see it just it goes on forever um um but this sort of build i think is good for it where um cyclone uh, meet, uh, physical build um and i've got life leech so and the two uniques I'm using for this, you don't need this, it does loads more damage. Uh, but this is cost about a chaos, that cost about a chaos. Uh, this instantly gives you um, your life leech back rather than like a, a pot where it, it just comes to you instantly. Um, so, yeah, you can make this build quite cheap and it, it does work at delving. Um, right, so as I was saying... Um, I always have the mini map over the screen like this. Um, uh, you might not like playing like that, but if you want to delve and be profitable, that means you have to go away from the mine track. Again, that's why you need a leech build because these monsters will start wrecking you. Uh, or you can drop flares, but you're going to run out of flares quite quickly. Um, I oh, what is killing me there? I tried to hang on to my flares um, because on a long delve you do run out, and you you want to use them when you find loot. So let's do, uh, let's just quickly um, have over here. So as you can see, there's a little bit up here. Um, actually, this is a there's the jewelry. Uh, they're really decent, unfortunately. Right, this happens sometimes. So what I've done is I've, I've gone up the track, but this is just another route that I didn't choose to take. Um, I've had to use a flare there because I was starting to get quite a lot of stats. Um, yeah, sometimes you go off the route and you've got to come back. Um, that was not the, the right way to go. Um, once I've done this encounter, I'll explain that a bit more.
So as you can see, I came from there down here and it's a real short journey. There was no opportunities for me to branch off from the main track and start delving. Um, but there was this route here, but that was just another route. If I'd have clicked a, if I'd have clicked somewhere different, um, that probably took us down there. I didn't choose to go that way. Um, so you have to then backtrack from south, otherwise the darkness will start building and you will take damage. Um, let's just have a look at its armor. I tend, I mean, at bigger depths you might get stuff on these armor stashes. I tend to get nothing. Uh, it's the fossils that I tend to make down here. Um, right, let's see how lucky you are with this currency. And the minecart will speed along and catch up with you. Ah, here goes a little side opportunity again. Jewelry, very rarely profitable, unfortunately. Ooh. Yeah, the minecart will catch up with you if you've got a fast movement skill like I have. Um, we'll delve here. Yep, yeah, so as all right, you know, it's useful to keep getting those little nodes because it eventually does, it's only a few hundred, but it builds up and allows you to keep your uh, darkness resistance and light aura capped. This encounter. So this was a, a Rich's one. There isn't actually a lot. I did a Rich's one earlier on and I had about seven stashes, so I'm not this not likely to be profitable, but we'll see. Again, this is very easy content for me at the minute, so that's why I'm gonna I'm still trying to dig down to find a, a sort of cap where So that was terrible, clearly. Let's have a look at there. So, uh, I didn't wasn't recording, uh, unfortunately, but earlier on I did one of those, um, I did one of these currency uh, nodes, um, and I got about 10 chaos plus loads of other good bits. Um, so that was pretty trash. So, right, we'll go to path towards the boss now. Short delve, and then we'll go to the boss. So that does just show you, there's obviously a lot of RNG that, obviously, um, but it's not always worth going for those um, patterns towards a specific thing um, because they're rarely profitable. You just want to be exploring these little side bits like this. Um, in short delves like this, you very often won't get a side opportunity like that or just one like I did then. Um, let's kill these dudes. Again, the reward for this at a sealed lockbox. I think I've yet to get any good RNG with the drops on them. Um, maybe today's the day. Again, if you do look at my build and think, oh my god, uh, this guy is not optimized his build at all. I know I haven't. <laughs> Uh, I'm currently not playing this character. I just log on this guy to do my delving because he's much better than my uh, necromancer at doing it. Um, but you could obviously optimize it a lot better and go a lot deeper. But equally, I do recommend it as a, a beginner-friendly delve character because you just hold right-click. That's literally all I'm doing. Uh, and when I hit off the monsters, I sustain. So even when I'm off in the dark, one, I can get through all the enemies using this ability, uh, Royal and Blades. Um, and two, I can go for enemies like this, and as I hit them, I'm, that, I'm negating that darkness buff um, by leeching my life back. I'm not killing the enemies, but it does allow me to leech off them, so that is beneficial to have. Right, nice long delve as well, but you see the currency is quite a lot. Also, if you die mid-delve, um, you don't... You, as a right that's being used now will be lost, um, and you can't get that back. So, um, and... That has right, sorry, the soul fight that I'm using uh, here will, will be lost to me. And um, so you want to make sure you're at the right level where you're not dying from this sort of activity. Oh. That's jewelry. The lost jewelry is not very good. I, I, again, I tend to never get any good from that. That's alright, nice. I missed an opportunity about there, unfortunately. Got a flare here. You do find little stashes of flares and dynamite as you go along, which helps you keep your total up, so it's worth keeping an eye out for them. For that one. Unfortunately, you can't really pause this. Uh, 
explain anything. Okay, so Minecraft wants to go that way, but I'm going to go this way because I can see that... Ah, okay, so that's a donut. These do sometimes get that well path back in itself. This is... Ah, here you go. So here's our first wall. So that's where you press your dynamite, pop it down, and then you come inside. Um, so I'm going to drop a flare so we can kill these monsters and get a bit of peace. This one had a wealth in. Um, so there's a chaos orb, um, but that's pretty trashy. Um, then you go back to the follow the minecart and just keep following those little side tangents. Uh, there's another one here. Add some more dynamite. That'll keep us tucked up. Nice five. Um, yeah, so those little ch uh, chambers what we just popped into can contain fossils, and that's where you're going to get the most money. Another chaos. Some of the fossils obviously sell for, you know, hundreds of chaos um, on the um, on the uh, trade sites. And uh, if you didn't know what fossils are, if you are that new, um, people use them for crafting, for making, uh, yeah, precisely adding uh, characteristics to gear that they want to, you know, make better. Okay, so already this little uh, route is given us just from the chaos orbs, free chaos orbs. Um, which again, to some people, not a lot of money, but if you're new to a league, uh, not to a league, but just new to the game, that could be quite a lot of money. Wow, this is a really long tangent. I might have to use another flare on the way back here. Oh no, I've got a wild flare that's still there. So again, if your character's got no sustain, um, you're just going to get, uh, there's another war, you're going to get trashed in those long, the long runs, or you're going to have to spend a lot of flares to keep alive. So another way you can make good money is... Oh, Jesus. Uh, this character, if I stop spinning, unfortunately, it spins to win. If I stop spinning, I will almost instantly die. But yeah, so resonators. Um, they can be good value as well. Um, the larger ones sell for up to sort of like 20-odd chaos. I uh, don't know how much it is worth. I think that's like one chaos at Enchanted Fossil. Um, but yeah, some of the big resonators sell for a lot. Um, and you don't have to sell them straight away. You can build up a stash of... Uh, like five or six of them or even more and then they'll sell super quick because people like to rather than going around buying one of individual people they like to be able to just walk by them um so yeah i tend to build up my uh sulfite on my other character um the blue uh, yellow stuff and then i'll come onto this character and quickly use it all up um and then sell it and i make all right let's see what this boss is so this is one of the bosses um Again, there are mechanics here that I hopefully won't mess up. Probably already messing them up if you're an experienced player. Okay, I guess I don't want to be in that red stuff. Alright, okay. This doesn't look good. I'm guessing I have to stay in the light here. Sorry, I've genuinely only done one of these bosses once, and I think there's a few different types. Um, luckily, I have a bit of a WoW veteran as well, so pretty used to staying off the, the bad ground. Such an overused mechanic, isn't it? Just avoid this part of the ground. Yeah, that hurts. Again, if you had a, a ranged character, this is going to be such a nightmare. Um, because all this stuff is right up in your face. Uh, this is why I prefer using this character to close range. And again, there's probably really amazing delve builds. Okay, so I've got... I think that's worth about a Chaos or two Chaos. Uh, I've got a loot filter on which changes the colour of my loot. Anything that's green is a, uh, new to this season, I believe. Um, so that's about two Chaos. Not great. But it's something... Whoa! As I hear this up while we're here. But right, I'm going to do what, uh, go back to town quickly and just stock up on flares. Wow. <laughs> and then we'll do another long trip. And then I think we'll, uh, actually no, this quickly, sorry, let's do one of these, uh, Val, Val areas. Done, Sean, come on. Yeah. Here we go, sorry. There we go. So this is so the, the main way to get the money I I believe uh, the easy money anyway is to 
path off the the main path like you saw me doing there uh broke down the caves and to get the fossils um and the resonators um and then obviously you can sell them to pe uh, more advanced players that are trying to use them for crafting you can go to use them for crafting yourself if you want but again a lot of depth there you've got to use a lot invest a lot of economy uh, a lot of currency sorry to make anything decent um you're probably better off buying stuff that you need in the marketplace for now um and then focusing on crafting later on in the game so yeah the main way of making money is that but also another good way of doing that uh getting currency um is through these cities so i'll we'll go over to it now um but essentially you just get a lot of chests um and you can get maps you can get uh sockets you can, uh, sorry gems anything you want uh, really um from these Val cities sorry not Val cities from these uh cities in the ground i think this is the Val one the castle so again the frequency of cane sort of dropping there you, you, i mean obviously i didn't get an exalt but you just know that's a lot higher frequency well drop a player here so i'm just gonna move this up And I'm not overly deep here. Um, if I, if I, so this is quite achievable for anyone to get to, definitely. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just got to be on the ball, unfortunately. Not unfortunately, but got to be on the ball. Boss loot again. I never get anything good out of them, but it's worth opening while you're there. cities uh, as well they're also a lot easier to um, know where to delve what have I got there I don't know if that's good or not but I'm just going to use a flare in case I think that's absolutely trash never mind um, yeah the cities because obviously it's all right angles um, and when you get to a crossroads uh, if there's a narrow bit that's the way that you're not going to delve um, sorry that the minecart's not going to go and you can quickly pop down there and get whatever's down there. The act inside the caves, it does uh, tend to backtrack on itself sometimes, or just just like a donut. So you're just delving into an area that you're, the minecart's already about to go into. Um, so, like I say, as I meant, this is the main route the cart was going to go. But once it got to a T junction here, I knew that this was going to be a chamber because it had a small door. Um, same as all these, um, where it's going to follow the main path. Whereas in the caves, um, you know, it will just it will. It'll go this way, this way, and this way, but there'll be a journey through here. So you'll go in here thinking you're delving, but you're actually just doing the later part of the journey, and you won't. Well, you will st still find something, but you could end up going really far. Um, whereas here, obviously, you're only going to go to this one room, or like here, it was two rooms, um, so it's a lot safer. So, right, you get here, there'll be a load of mon monsters to kill. Just leveling these gems. Um, okay, there's a free top tip as well. If you're brand new to the game, once you get to the end game, or even while you're leveling, Put yourself some. Uh, this is my, this people might be thinking this is not revolutionary, but uh, it took me a while to figure it out by myself. These ge gems you have in your off weapons uh, do level, um, and people want high level gems, especially later on in the league, because what they'll do is they'll use corruption shards on a max level gem, uh, and it can actually roll to level 21, 22, um, beyond its max. Um, small chance of them doing it but essentially they're going to be spending lots of money so i think blood magic support i can sell these for like 20 20 co uh chaos um once it maxes out and obviously i'm at 19 there now um so just you can just go on poe ninja see which gems are currently selling for the most and just level them um that's a just a little tip there um and once they all ting uh ding sorry um you've got it almost an exalt so yeah you get here you kill the monsters you get an explosion of loot uh, from this chest, and then you can go in the chamber. So, ah, sorry. Get the explosion when you click it, and then you can go in the chamber. Um, and it's quite an interesting uh, mechanic. So it's always going to be like a square. We'll have a look at the map afterwards. But these areas here, you can, I don't think you can. Now you can kill the monsters. There's little areas of light here. But as soon as I go off this, I start taking my uh, stacking darkness buff. And yeah, so you see them in the darkness here. But you can go two ways, um, and there's always going to be a uh, chest at the end of each tunnel. And there's sometimes, uh, there's sometimes, these enemies, by the way, sorry, keep spawning. There's sometimes a chest here, like I had. So other times there isn't. Uh, sometimes a chest here, there isn't one. Sometimes a chest here, there isn't one. 
and then there's always chests to get at the end. And this is the, the good side uh, on this one. So yeah, and these enemies just keep spawning. Oh, you're kidding me! Right, so there you go. You you die in here and you lose that. So obviously, I've lost uh, some chisels over there on a the map. Um, nothing too major. Um, so that's why you've just got to be on the ball. Um, but <laughs> you can see the map still. It's always going to be this sort of shape. Um, there's a chance of loot in the corners. Um, but then the, the t two dead ends is always going to be a bunch of chests. Um, cast my auras back on. Yeah, obviously because I completed it, I've still unlocked that node now. But if I go there, um, I don't think I even can. Yeah, I, I can't. That, that, that loot is gone to me. So there's a top tip. Don't die like I just did. Um, but I believe that's it. Oh, another a tiny small tip for making money. Um, if you want to, if you're struggling with the delving, like you're struggling going off the track, uh, just go collect Azerite. Just collect Azerite as well. Um, and with that Azerite, you can go to Nico and you can purchase um, these potent alchemical, alchemical resonators. These sell for free chaos each. Um, so, you know, 500, I've got, I've got, I've got 2,000. So I could, two, uh, yeah, I could buy five. So straight away, I could make 15 copper just from buying these. I'm not going to because I don't need to. Um, but even in that pleb video there uh, that I did, um, you know, I've got six, six straight up chaos orbs. Enchanted, let me just see how much an enchanted costs. Um, sorry, I don't know all these off the top of my head, unfortunately, but you can just check on POE Ninja or uh, the POE app trade. Should have had this ready. Ah, so it looks like. About five, okay, so that by itself was about five chaos. It's got six chaos there. They're three chaos. I think that's a, at least a chaos. Um, got a little bit of a map. Got some trash unique chaos. About 20, well, 20 plus chaos here. Uh, these are quite expensive. Um, and I didn't even use them. I, uh, all of my uh, sulfite and again, I didn't get hardly any fossils. Um, so yeah, just uh, give it a go. Um, see what you think. Um, essentially, just just keep keep going down until you get to a point where you keep dying, um, and then go back up, and then just go sideways, and then you want to go to these cities um, because there's some good currency there. And if you do see currency nodes, you do sometimes get good currency there. But obviously, the one I recorded was trash, um, but I got about ten chaos and one earlier on. Uh, again, um, yeah. So uh, hope you found that uh, useful. Um, if there's anything that I've not mentioned there or you don't understand, um, please just ask me and I'll, I'll try to explain it for you. Um, yeah, and just good luck. All right, thank you for watching. Cheers.